She's right. Money is just a medium of exchange. There's one thing that rich people do completely differently than middle class people or poor people. And it has nothing to do with how much money they have in the bank, how much money they're spending every month, or how much they've got in their pocket. By the way, I'm Dee Lisa. I've got nothing to sell you. I just like seeing people be abundant in life. The one thing rich people do differently is they see the function of money for what it actually is meant to be. I'll give you an example. Poor people think money exists to pay bills and to keep themselves out of debt. They work for someone Monday through Friday, they exchange their time for money, and then they give it to someone else, which is a great way to scrape by in life and never get ahead. Middle class people think that money is to build credit, so... They can get loans from bigger and bigger institutions that they will pay off over time. These are the people who are so excited over their 800 credit score. Woohoo! And they're excited to buy bigger houses, bigger boats, bigger cars, whatever. That's not the function of money. Rich people know the function of money it is expansion. It's to use your money to make more money. Here's what I mean. Instead, of looking for ways to buy things that people don't really need. <laughs> Rich people look for every dollar they have to go out and make them more money. Every single dollar they have are little soldiers to go out and get them more land or more territory. Little workers. You know what I'm saying. And then bring it home to mama. This is a graph of various assets. You can see the U.S. dollars at the bottom. It continues to degrade and lose value over time because money is not supposed to be hoarded. It's a medium of exchange. You're supposed to exchange it. The only way to burn money faster is if you spend it on things that degrade faster, like new cars. The top line is stocks, which are investments in business, production. You exchange cash, which is a medium, for production. The only way to stay rich is to piggyback off production. That is it. If you produce goods and services that people want, they will give you more and more money. Otherwise, they'll give you nothing. You can either get rich by giving society what it wants and needs, or you can just piggyback off other people who are doing that. If you want to be poor, you either hoard cash or use the cash to buy things that burn faster than cash, like a new car or clothes. Get financially literate. Start here. Keep up to date with the newsletter linked off the bio. Good luck. Take care. Only when you start to see money for what it actually is, a method of expansion, is when you can make it work for you. Because the universe is expanding. Fact. You are part of the universe. Fact. Your money is the energy that you brought into your experience. Fact. And therefore, for that money to be the happiest money possible, it needs to do what you're doing, which is expanding, which is what the universe is doing. And when you see money as a vehicle for your own expansion, opportunities to make more money or expand start presenting themselves to you.